All right, we got Friday. Um, so it's a strength day. We start off with a test, right? We're gonna do sets of five. Really need three dumbbells for this. Um, so essentially they do one dumbbell that they could do for four plus, so they could do four more with. Then one you could do three plus with, and then one you could do two plus with. And then once you've done that and you establish it, yep, that feels like something I could do as far as set of seven, you'll pick it up on the strong side. <clears throat> on that two minute interval, you do as many reps as you can, right? You'll then rest the rest of it, and then the other two interval, you'll do the weak side. The reason we're doing that is because if I do the weak side first, the brain automatically makes it, seems to make it feel heavy sooner on the strong side. So to get an accurate test, I need to do something that the brain can't cheat us on. Right, so we look at that and go, all right, I did 10 left sides, only what the left side is, and it can't artificially slow it down. Like you might press out a couple more reps, um, but not massive amounts, and make sure that they look pretty. So it's technical failure. So yeah, I can squeeze it out, but if it's getting all funky, it's not right. We're doing this as a test to help us program or help us in, yeah, help us with some stuff we're gonna do later to kind of fix that imbalance so that it'll improve our press. If we don't do pretty reps, it's not really helpful. So make sure these reps are pretty. Then we move on to a floating clean deadlift on riser. All of this percentages in RPE are based on cleans, right? Because it's an assistance lift for the clean, so it's very tricky to give an RPE for this. Um, but essentially, it's four plus for the first one, three plus for the second, two plus, one plus, and then zero, right? Meaning I could do more weight on the clean. It'd be like a heavy single on a clean. Right. The percentages are there. They're pretty. They're actually pretty accurate for cleans. It's probably one of those places, even in large groups, for clean assistance lifts. This is pretty accurate. So either way, essentially should never get super duper heavy. It would be a super duper heavy clean though. Um, and oh, it's a floating clean. So you're standing on a plate is what that essentially means. And it never touches the ground. It goes to the spot where it would touch the ground, but it floats on above the ground, right? Even with that plate. So you pretend the plate is the ground. Um, and then... We finish off with City of God, which is 2159, should be a short conditioning workout. Sumo deadlift, 185, 123 may not seem light, but it is light for people doing that level. So the deadlift should be light, really should be something done on broken. Same thing with that push press. At best, you have two sets on that. 200 meter run between rounds, meaning I'm running 200 meters twice. This is kind of one of those leveling up intensities, um, RPE wise. So you probably would go three, two, three, four. Um, or maybe even three, three, four. So we can kind of really push that pace towards that end because the last round of nine is nine, 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 and there's no run on it. So, but if we start off at that four, you're gonna be in trouble. So it's really like a two, three, four or three, three, four here and kind of get them to understand that that intensity should increase.